Python terminology, an unofficial glossary. We just mentioned a bunch of PEPs, Python enhancement proposals. So I thought I'd just go through a few of them. We use the term float a lot, which that's referring to floating point numbers, integers, aka ints, int. The term Boolean is another common one that we throw out all the time, true and false. In fact, you'll even hear the term truthiness <laughs> and falsiness, which is, I think, kind of interesting, kind of related to that. Mutation, I think we talk about immutable and mutable objects, but the term mutation is a little weird, the, the idea that something is changeable. Another fun one is file-like object. Dunder, which I think we talk about often, but the two underscores before, like say init for initializing. So double underscore I N I T, and then another pair of double underscores. So we call those like Dunder methods or special methods, or sometimes we call them magic methods. Syntactic sugar, trying to make a language quicker to read for experts and kind of how things can be sort of simplified into shorter and tighter terms and stuff like that. And then monkey patching, which he mentions in there also, which we just covered a couple of weeks ago. The splat, the asterisk or star that you see in stuff. Strings are a data type used for storing text. Strings are made up of characters, which may be letters, numbers, symbols, white space emoji, et cetera. 